Hey guys, it's Isaac here, and today I have a really, really cool video. It's um, it's Ben 10 Old Generation. I mean, I don't know how long I've waited and waited and waited to show you guys this game. Oh, well, actually, I do. It was about a year it took me to be able to show you guys this game, and man, it took way too long. But um, I, it, it's a great game, guys. I can't wait to show you. Um, the only reason I'm not gonna do this playthrough in one full video is because it'll be too long. And so um, I don't know about that. It's gonna take way too long to upload with my internet. So um, I'm just gonna put it into parts. Um, there's so much I have to show in this game to you guys. Um, there's gonna be a lot of a lot of videos going in depth in this game. Um, this playthrough part one is gonna be in a story mode. I have to do dual mode in another video because it is big enough to do in another video. I promise you guys I'll do that in another video. And but um, today we're gonna be doing part one of the old generation mode in Ben 10 Old Generation, which is basically the story mode. Can't wait to show you guys. Oh my god, finally I'm done with this game. It took me so long and afterwards, now I just need two days of planning and I finally get to work on my Dragon Ball Z game. A game that, um, I haven't made a fighting game since 2008, guys. I haven't. I'm so excited to be going back to the fighting game genre of paper games. I have so much more stuff I could do with it. I haven't made a fighting game in so long. It's going to be nothing like my fighting game for my console today. It's going to be so, so cool. Can't wait for Dragon Ball Z. I need two days to plan it, then I'm going to start making the game. So it's, uh, what is it? August 11th, right? Uh, somewhere around the 14th, 13th, I don't even know, days. Uh, one of those days I'll start actually working on it. But um, for now, I'm just going to be in my planning stage and making a bunch of old generation videos for you guys. And um, yeah, let's just start with part one of the old generation story mode, and I'll see you guys there. Thanks. Bye. Alrighty guys, here we are, and this is Ben 10 Old Generation. Man, that is the sentence I've been wanting to say for ages, guys. So long I've been wanting to show you guys this game. And um, here you get a good look at the length of the game. It is ginormous, guys. It's actually borderline being heavy. And, uh, that shows how weak I am. And I mean, it's pretty, pretty cool. And, um, okay, let's just jump into what you need for the game. Yeah, obviously need to, um, and the game, what you also need is the cartridge. Well, you don't really need it, but now nah, you do need it for imagination. I mean, you just take it out like that um, for a little bit of imagination, and you plop it in to the system. Does it do anything? No, you guys all know that, just for a little bit of fun. What you also need is the character pouch. Here comes preloaded with a pencil because you are 100% going to need it inside this game. And the only optional thing you need for this game is the trophy mesh. Menu. So if we look all the way in the back, I'll show you trophies for the first 2013 game, the first of the 11 last games, Ben 10 Old Generation. You see all those trophies there um, for you to strive for, kind of, if you're ever playing the game. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. And um, there's the trophies. Okay, and so let's just take our first good look at Old Generation when it's completely done. Okay, so here's the cover here. You have IPGS on the top, which has only been on my Star Wars games. That's what I'm going to do for now on. You have Isaac Cruises on the bottom in the corner. And then here is the actual game screen. Always colorful. You guys know that's why I take so long to do my games. Because I make sure I color them all the way. And um, if you guys might notice, there's actually a ring holding it together instead of string just things it looks a little bit cooler I think it looks really really cool um, with the ring without the like instead of the string you guys know what I'm trying to say and there is the cover pretty pretty cool and um, oh yeah I forgot in the bottom corner it says contained violence and it contains a message with copyright 2013 all right so um, I'm gonna grab the controller here and finally get ready to show you guys this game. We're going to click A, jump right into the playthrough of the story mode at least. Because I'll show you the guys the dual mode in a different video. Okay, so we have the message. 
It says, hello, just wanted to tell you what a fantastic year 2013 will be here for IPGS games. As the last 11 games roll in, I'd like to say to you that starting with this game, I will make sure 2013 last 11 games will be the best games that the system has ever seen. Thank you. And then I put Isaac Cruz and you get a good look at um, Ben there. And that statement is 100% true, guys. This year is going to be great for um, IPGS games. The last 11 games games will be the best um, the console has ever seen starting with this one and we go to our new game load green, load game selection screen all right it says a to select new game or load game coming out of the omnitrix there so we're obviously going to pick new game all right here we have the main menu if you guys remember from my preview video i have changed the main the main menu four arms used to be standing up carrying the rocks but i changed it to being slanted because i tweaked the main menu a little bit if you guys want to go back to the pre the preview ben 10 video whatever it is number one you'll see how it used to look and the cover if you guys didn't know i changed that from how it used to look before as well if you guys didn't notice all right, so we zoom into the game mode here with four arms holding it up, and we'll actually push this here, and we'll check out the five modes. Okay, so you have shot mode, old generation mode, options, brawl, and combos. Pretty cool. Brawl is actually a super, super cool mode. I really want to show you guys that in a separate video. I'm going to show you strategies for it, all this type of stuff. Best character to use. It's going to be a really cool set of videos. Brawl is actually really, really cool in this game. Old Generation is the mode we're going to be sticking to with this playthrough, though, for part one. You have combos, really, really useful. Shop, and then options. All really cool modes. But, of course, um, even though this is the Old Generation mode playthrough, we always check out the beautiful options menu. And <laughs> If we see here, we get the options menu here. It says Brawl, Difficulty, Easy, Normal, or Hard, which is actually really important. And then automatically load game on or off. And if I say Easy, Normal, Hard is actually important because if you look on the bottom, it says if Easy is selected, the reward given from the battle is minus 5. And if Hard is selected, the reward given from the battle is plus 5. So it just gives a little bit more incentive to go on Hard Difficulty and tries to get you to stay away from Easy Difficulty. So that's kind of one of the new things implanted in the brawl system is the kind of kind of telling you to go hard, <laughs> trying to telling you to go to the hard mode, all that stuff. But um, let's actually go to the main mode here, old generation. We'll check out the other modes in separate videos, I promise. But um, let's actually go to old generation mode. Some of this you guys have seen because I showed it in some preview, but um, you're going to find out really soon that most of it you have not seen um, in this game. And if I turn this here, you get the old generation mode. And on the side, if you see here, watch out, let me just do that. Okay, on the side, I'll push this along here. On the side here, you see a bit of the combo mode, which is going to be really useful in old generation. If I zoom up here, Bring this a little bit in the middle. If I zoom up here, you see all the names of the aliens and playable characters, and you see their combos. And if you flip the page, here, you actually get the name of the combo and what it does. So that's a really, really cool thing that actually was not in the game. Wasn't planning on doing that in the game, but I thought of it, and I said this will be so awesome. So I planted that in the game, so it's really cool. So let's zoom up to, let's say, Heat Blast. It says, shoots a barrage of fireballs, then one huge one, and the name is Heat Generators. So that's a really cool combo, and if you look on the back page of the combo mode screen, whatever you would like to call it, it says Heat Blast here. And you see it says ABBY, so it's a really cool combo mode system. You got all the characters, all the combos, and then what they do and the name of them on the back. Really cool combo system. Hope you guys like it, and it's going to be really useful in old generation mode. All right, so we're going to do a select difficulty here, and but first we have a couple of things. Oh, yeah, if you guys didn't notice, I also changed the old generation's um, mode. If you guys want to see the preview video, you see how different it looked. I really did change the look of it in case you guys were wondering. That doesn't look how it did before. Changed a lot of things in this game, which is why it took a little bit longer than I thought. All right, on the bottom it says, remember to look at the top screen. Three hits defeats Ben in regular combat. Okay, and then look out for hidden items and good luck. All right, that's crazy. Three hits defeats me in normal combat so um if it's not a boss i'm gonna die in three hits so that's pretty crazy 
um, pretty, pretty curious, I'll tell you guys the truth, but um, we are going to go on easy just so I can show you a little bit more of the game, and um, here we go. All right, so it says chapter select, chapter 2 turn 40 pages, chapter 3 turn 72, chapter 4 turn 110, and then it says, and for chapter 1 turn the page, and if you guys are wondering what it says up here, it says you have to have gotten to chapters 2 through 4 in order to skip to them, of course I added that so it's not um, a crazy feature, you can just skip to chapters, I added that little paragraph or a phrase there. And we're going to start the game. Okay, so guys, I'm just going to reposition the camera so that I can see both sides of the screen really, really easily. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys, I'm back. And um, I just can't wait to go straight into this game. So I'm going to push this up a little bit. And um, here we go. So here we just see the van, um, um, Ben's van. They're going to keep going. And on the top, it says in the van. Okay, so it seems like there's a little bit of a cut scene here. Um, as you see on the top, it says in the van. Ben is sleeping. I'll zoom up on that for you guys. Ben is sleeping in the van. All right, so we're going to turn the page here. And, um, okay, so we see the van going down um, a kind of a hill with the nice moon in the background. I don't know what's going on, guys, but we'll find out soon. The van is going down. Okay, so now it shows Grandpa Max here. Um, showing off that he is riding the van. <laughs> he is in control of the van. Okay, it shows him here. I'll give you a nice, another bit of a zoom up there on Grandpa Max. He is um, riding. And so I don't know what's going to happen here, guys. We turn the page and we see Meteor. So I don't know what's going on here. It says, look up. If you guys see right there, look up. And um, we're obviously going to look up, see the Meteors coming at us. I don't know what's going on. And boom, you see we are getting crashed here by these Meteors. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know who's doing this, what's going on. But we are getting crashed by these um, Meteors. And then, boom, Ben wakes up. He's saying, what the? He's really startled here. Zoom up on that as well for you guys. He says, what the? He's startled. Did you see the look on his face? He doesn't know what's going on. We're going to turn the page. And then, boom, the car is just flipping upside down now. I don't know what's going on. I'll zoom up again for you guys. You see the smoke and the debris coming out of the van as it's coming up. Pretty crazy cutscene. I don't know what's going on. And then we turn the page and boom. That, <laughs> I don't know what just happened there, guys. But Grandpa Max just crashed by some meteors. As you guys see the graphics there, the detail on everything there. Tires are down. He's on the floor. He has cracks. I don't know what's going on, but we get our first bit of controls. It says down to crawl out of the broken van. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click it down here. Want to get out of this broken van. Turn the page and we see Ben, our hero here. And then on the bottom it says Ben saying, oh my gosh, I better help Grandpa Max and Gwen. And it says A to help Grandpa Max. Okay, we got to help them. I don't know what's going on here. And so, okay, we see Grandpa Max. And then Grandpa Max says, Ben, look for an auto repair shop. See if you can find one. I'll help get Gwen out of the van. Hurry. Okay, so basically he's sending us to go to this auto repair mechanic to get this truck or RV fixed up and ready to go. And so that is our mission here. Zoom up on um, Grandpa Max there for you guys. And um, this is a pretty crazy um, um, scenario so far. Okay, so we're actually finally in the actual game here. All right, so we get the Ben 10 character out of the character pouch, put him down, and Ben says, got it, Grandpa Max, on the way. And you can always tell if they're saying something because the dialogue will be on the bottom. And I'll zoom up on that just to show you guys where I'm getting this dialogue from. She usually always on the bottom of the page. Usually, sometimes I change it. Okay, so um, I'll zoom up. Actually, on the top here, it says, Mission, find the repair shop. Use the directional pads to move and hold the directional pad to run. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right. So, oh, my God, I, I lost my controller. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. <laughs> Put it down. I was like, where did it go? Okay, so we're going to hold it down here. Run. Try to find this auto repair shop. 
All right, so Ben says, geez, where am I going? It's late at night. He's going down ramps here. <laughs> I'll be scared to death if I was him too. We'll keep walking here. Okay. And so it says on the top here, it says R to climb. If we zoom up on there, it says R to climb. So that's pretty good information, R to climb. So we're going to move over a little bit and we're going to use whoops I clicked E like a dummy we're, we're gonna use R to climb up here and we're up here now so um, we'll turn the page and it looks like we're up here okay so Ben says hmm there's a, oh, I'll zoom up for you guys sorry there you go the Ben says hmm there's a hole on the side of this mysterious building man if I jump from this height I'm certain to die I got to go in. Okay, so there's a mysterious building here. We have to A to enter this mysterious building. So this is going to be kind of crazy. So we're going to click A here. Turn the page to enter the hole. And we're actually falling here. He's saying, whoa, A, A, B, A, 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 B, A. Thank God we got that one. I'll show you guys the picture there of him falling. Um, he's saying, whoa, you have to click that. Always the button presses are on five seconds. And you see the little black hole in the background there and the ground that we are about to fall on. So this is a little bit crazy already. Sorry about that horrible page. What a fail is that guy? Sorry about that page turning. Okay, so I am down on the floor here now. So I actually did get hurt. And Ben saying, oh man, that's going to make some noise. Ouch. Hopefully no one is here or I'll be in trouble. So yes, he will be. And as you see the battle damage Ben there, he will be in trouble if someone sees him. So let's hope nobody does. So it says A to stand up. Let's just stand up there. Turn the page and we are in. And then Ben says on the bottom, better start exploring. So I don't know what he's going to be exploring for, but he's going to start exploring here. Keep walking. Ooh, so it looks like we have some bad guys here. I don't know what's going on, guys, but um, let's see. On the top, the first bad guy says, hey, you heard that? All right, let me try to put on a voice here. Watch out. All right, so this guy says, yeah, I'm going to check. You stay put. Got it? And so this guy's going to say, Roger. So um, there's your little voice there. <laughs> I mean, and so he's saying Roger, so... um. They, they're alert that we're here, so I don't know what we're going to do here on the bottom. Ben says, uh-oh, I think people are here. I got to move quietly. Okay, so I got to move quietly here. We're going to just move the directional pad and move the directional pad. We can't run here or else we will die. Okay, ooh, so we're here now. Ben says, oh gosh, I'm spotted. Yes, he is. I'll zoom up on this whole thing, guys. I'll zoom up on the top screen for you guys and the bottom screen because there's a lot going on here. Okay, so on the top, the goon says, hope he's okay. Uh, that noise was probably nothing. So the goon thinks um, the other goon's going to be okay. Hopefully we prove him wrong. Okay, so we have some controls here. It says X to jump and down to duck. All right, so we have a goon here with a flashlight. And he's saying, where are you, kid? And so then it says, mission, don't be seen by the flashlight. Okay, we'd be seen by the flashlight. We are dead. How are we going to do this, guys? We move. We're going to get, like, flashed or something, however you want to call it. And um, so how are we going to do this? Oh, I know. Okay, so you see these platforms here. We're going to click um, side to move a little bit back. And then we're going to click X to jump on this platform. Up X to jump on this platform, and I think you guys know where we're going with this puzzle. We're going to jump X to this platform, do a little bit of parkour here. We're going to jump X to this platform. So we are just jumping around trying not to get seen by this flashlight. We're going to jump X to this platform, and then we're going to turn the page. And uh-oh, boom, we get spotted. I'm going to zoom that up for you guys. We get spotted. The guy saw us. He's saying, uh-oh, this is bad. So we're going to turn the page to see what happens. Okay, so it seems like we got a little bit of dialogue here. All right. He says, what are you doing, kid? And that, it, Ben says, nothing. I'm just looking for a car rip. Of course, excuses. Come here. So this guy doesn't care what I'm trying to say. He just pointed his little gun at me. Look at this. 
little guy here. I can't wait to just, oh, okay, very rude. <laughs> and then after you're done with the dialogue here, it says, look up when done reading. We look up. And boom, we have a nice Omnitrix. And it says A to select alien. So we're just going in on this guy. We're about to go in and the first fight of the game happens. Okay, so we got four aliens to choose from here. Four arms, heat blast, echo, echo, or accelerate. I'm going to go ahead and pick... Let's say forearms. Forearms, I'm going to go with the easy route here. I'm going to pick forearms. You can't ever go wrong with that guy. And so we're going to turn the page. All right. And then Ben says, if I zoom up here again, he says, I don't want to have to do this. And then this little goon says, do what? And then we have our thing here. This is part's pretty cool. It says, turn one page if you selected four arms, two if you selected heat blast, three if you selected echo echo, and four if you selected accelerate. That's a pretty cool page there. Kind of like it. And so we're obviously going to turn one page to turn in to four arms. So we turn the page, and boom, it shows Ben turning green, morphing into four arms. I'll show you that little picture there. And so that's a pretty cool thing. And I'll just show you for fun if you were to pick, um, picked Heat Blast, Echo Echo, and Accelerate that it would have worked for each one of them. But we're going to um, turn four pages here. And, um, uh-oh, <laughs> we come across our first glitch of the game here. Let's see what, <laughs> let's see what the glitch says. It says, um... Sorry, something went wrong with the pages here. Turn the page to get back into the action. Okay, that's not bad of a glitch. Um, I think there's only this glitch in the game. I don't think there's any more. Hopefully not, but that's a little bit of a glitch. And, um... Yeah, sadly there it is there, but doesn't matter guys little glitch didn't bother us now We are going to go into the actual first boss of the game All right, so there's a lot to see here. We are forms. I'm going to show you guys the forearms character here I took a long time to draw all these characters here make sure they look really nice really clean and thin and um, thin. <laughs> I'm mad I said thin. Obviously, it's thin. It's from paper. But um, I made sure it looked really, really cool. And um, okay, so we have some controls on the top. So if you guys see, um, this game is much better made already than Ariana Star Wars and Taken Over. Because when I showed you those games, those weren't recent games to me. I mean, obviously Star Wars was, but they really weren't. You know, this is the only game where I literally just finished it like two days ago. You know, uh, so you're going to see that the way I plan things, the way I make my games, they really, they really are. It's a better, this is a better game, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so it says how to play. A to punch, B to kick, down to duck, R to jump. X, I mean, sorry, X to jump, Y for your special block. Ooh, and it says plus 25 health, and so that's basically one box, and it says can only be used once. All right, that's cool. And then C to do a regular block. And over here we have the objective. It says when the opponent is at half health, turn the page. Okay, this is pretty crazy. Alrighty, so um, we're going to move here, and we move very slowly because the stats do count. If you're a heavy character, you move slowly, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a double punch here. Boom, boom. And I'm gonna, that's going to take about two from him there. He's going to be down two. Okay, so what he's going to do is he's going to jump up and shoot me here. Let's say he jumps up and shoot me. That's going to take two there. I didn't have time to block, but um, that doesn't matter, guys, because what I'm going to do now... Oh, I forgot. I'm going to zoom in here, guys. I actually am marking it here. He lost two. I lost two. Just can't, you can't see it from so far away, but I'm just making sure you guys know that I am. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, guys, is when I cut um, the video, I actually took apart the combo screen from the game and just made it separate because this is going to make everything so much more easier. What I'm actually going to do is do my combo with four arms. If I come up here, it says A, A, B, Y to do it. And if I turn the page, four arms, it says two punches, pick a rock up, throw it at opponent, and it's called Feet of Strength. That's a crazy, crazy combo. And combos do three boxes in this game. But every mechanic is changed for the brawl mode. But I'll show you guys that in a different video. Really, really cool. It changes everything up it doesn't do the whole bar system everything about the fighting has changed and i can't wait to show you guys that in a whole separate video but there's the little combo for forearms a a b y and you guys remember what it did two punches and he throws a nice rock so what i'm gonna do here 
is do A A B Y to do my combo. I'm gonna punch him twice and then pick up a rock from the ground, throw it at him to do a massive three bars. That's gonna be kind of crazy for him. Uh, let's say he shoots me in. I'm gonna hurry up and press C. Oh my God! I couldn't even find the button. That doesn't count. Um, he hit me there. Uh, that was really dumb of me. I couldn't even find the button on my own controller. That's pretty embarrassing. But um, he should not have hit me there, but he did. Okay. And so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk up to him. And I'm actually going to do um, a regular kick because I don't want to abuse the combo system uh, too much. You know, I don't want to abuse the combo system too much. That's never too fun. Okay. So let's see what he's going to do. He's going to now shoot me. Now I'm going to click C to block that so I don't take any damage. I'm going to X to jump so he doesn't get me here. And then I'm going to click A to punch him. So I'm going to jump and punch him there. Make sure he's not going to block it. And um, he is halfway. Uh, he was halfway a long time ago. My bad, guys. Forgot to change it. Um, forgot to turn the page. My bad. So I'll race that nice and tight so the game always looks clean. Race all this stuff. Only will take a while, guys. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. And sorry about, sorry about this. Um, racing. Okay. So that's all done. It said when he was at half health, we turned the page. So we're actually going to turn the page here. And um, okay. So um, in between the boss battle, we get a little cutscene. So that's always, always cool. Breaking up the boss fights, which is how uh, the next game is going to be called Dragon Ball Z. Can't wait to make that game for you guys. But right now we're on old generation. All right, you see the electricity coming out of Ben's watch. He says, oh, man, my Omnitrix power ran out. Darn, where'd that guy go? So um, he went away because his Omnitrix power went out. So this is not good, guys. We got to get after this guy. I'm going to turn the page, and we are here, and the objective is to find the goon. It says use the up directional pad to jump, or X, of course. So we're going to come here, and um, we're going to do this. We're going to find this goon, because really, this guy is getting on my nerves. Okay, <laughs> and so then on the bottom, Ben says, type of place is this? He's confused. This place has holes in it. It's kind of crazy, so we're going to keep um, walking. We're going to walk. And we're going to click the up directional pad to jump because I always like using the up directional pad to jump. We're going to go up. Oh, whoops. We're going to go to the side up here. And then we're going to actually use X to jump this time over here. Climb up and keep going. Alrighty. So we're actually here now on the top of this platform and it says up plus a to jump down so we're going to do up plus a jump down here and we are here so ben says where is he we've traveled a couple pages we can't even find the guy so i don't know what's going on here maybe he's hiding really very well we're going to come down here and oh my god guys he tricked us the goon says surprise kid all right we have five seconds a a b b x all right we got that and um but before i turn the page i'll just show you how crazy this guy is he says surprise kid shooting us i'm gonna go slowly down so you can see all the bullets this guy was trying to impale us with this goon i can't wait to beat this guy up all right we're, uh, we're gonna turn the page here and um okay so here is the actual battle and um, this is the first battle where we're introduced to our little Omnitrix watch here. This Omnitrix watch is going to be at the corner of almost every page in later missions because you're going to need it to fight off random enemies in like non-boss battle environments like the enemies where you're just walking and you um, happen to find them. This is the thing that's always going to be in the corner of the page. The first half of this boss battle, as you guys saw me do it before, it was just you pick your alien and you fight um, him with the alien. Bring him halfway, and then there's that. In real battles in this game, you actually have that Omnitrix with four aliens equipped so you could keep on switching, keep on doing some excellent dirty, dirty combos. Really awesome stuff. And um, that's the Omnitrix that you're going to be seeing throughout of the game a lot. And, um... Okay, so we actually have an objective on the top here. I'll zoom up and it says reduce opponent's health to zero. Okay, I'm perfectly fine with that. And then here it says click up plus the desired button to turn into that alien. And it says E to turn back to Ben. All right, all great tips here. And so then we go with the battle. Okay, so I'm actually going to click up here to go to the um, Omnitrix menu. And so we got a couple aliens here. I'm actually going to click B 
for forearm. So up B, move that there for you guys. Sorry about that, I'll reposition that like that. Okay, so up B, and we're gonna turn into the Heat Blast character. So I'll zoom up on that character for you guys here. There's the Heat Blast character that comes within the character pouch. We'll put that guy there, move Ben out of the way, and um, we're going to fight him. Okay, so we're going to walk towards him here. We're going to do that perfect double punch there. Boom, boom, with his heat. And so then that's two bars taken away from him. Good start for us. So he's going to shoot us. I'm going to press C really quick to dodge that. I'm going to press E to turn back to Ben. I'm going to press, um, oh my God, I don't know what's going on here. I'm going to click up here and A to turn into forearms. And so then I'm going to walk over to A, B, B, Y to do my two punch and throw a rock combo. And that was a crazy little thing there, guys, that I did turning back and doing combos. But it is a cool new feature that you can do with this game. Really, really cool. He hasn't even touched me. And if I zoom up here, he's already halfway dead. So this is pretty awesome. It is um, like this because I did put it on easy mode, but um, it, it doesn't matter. Okay, so he's going to shoot me. I'm actually going to let him hit me here. To make it a little bit more fair. All right, so I'm gonna actually switch back to Ben using E. Um, switch back to Ben. I'm actually gonna do up here to go to my watch. Click B to turn into um, Heat Blast, and I'm actually gonna check out Heat Blast combo. Um, if I, if you guys saw in the beginning of the video, I actually saw. I mean, I actually saw. I actually showed you guys it, but there's Heat Blast combo. A B B Y while forearms is A A B Y his is A B B Y if we turn the page here it says shoots a barrage of fireballs then one huge one and it's called heat generator that's pretty pretty awesome pretty bro I'm not gonna lie okay so I'm gonna do hold and control backwards A B B Y to do bunch of fireballs and then one huge one and that's going to do three pretty heavy and then um he is actually really hurt here and so then let's say he shoots me I'm gonna just gonna let him shoot me there because why not we're already gonna win this game this battle at least I, I did put it on easy for a reason and we're gonna walk up to him we're gonna do A B B Y um to do that fireball attack that heat generator combo and we got him we got him good, guys. This guy is really hard if you put it on a little bit of harder difficulty, obviously, because he has a gun and he can block. I don't make them block attack so often in easy mode, but in any other difficulty, you got to make them block because that's what they're supposed to do. The enemies, at least. So we turn the page, and then we're here to a little bit of another cutscene. So as you guys can see, this game has a lot of cutscenes, but still a lot of gameplay as well. Tell me if you guys like the game so far. It's really, really cool, and this isn't even any, anything like the later chapters in the game, and you already see, guys, that it's a pretty cool game. All right, we'll see. Um, ben is huffing and puffing. He's really tired, and then the goon coughs. He says, who are you? And then he says, Ben 10. Who are you? Are you the fool who broke my grandfather's van? And then he says, grandfather's what? He's acting like he doesn't know. And so then Ben says, don't act like you don't know. And he says, <laughs> he laughs, whatever. Turn around, kid. Goodbye. And so then he says, huh? He has a lot of question marks. If you guys see the goon on the floor, there are a lot of detail put into him and the ground, of course, the environments. So we'll move all of that, we turn around, and uh-oh, we see the second goon here. He says, you forgot there were two of us, didn't you, kid? Bye. And then he shoots. Oh, God, this is actually looking really bad. Boom, it shows Ben so startled, the top half of his face. You see his eyes wide open. He doesn't know what's going on here. He forgot there were two of them. Boom, chapter one cleared. You've unlocked gray matter, you've unlocked forearms, and you've unlocked the selectable stage. Dangerous farce. Crazy chapter, guys. Really, really cool, long, hard. If, 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 you, if you obviously played on hard difficulty, really, really cool chapter. I hope you guys enjoyed. But before we go, I'm just going to turn it all the way back here. All the way back. This is one of the uh, dual mode stage, actually. We're going to turn all the way back. All the way back, all the way back here. Turn here, turn here. We're gonna actually go to the brawl mode here. 
And if you guys notice, the brawl mode is changed. I added a lot more characters since the last time I showed you the preview video. So if you want to check out that preview video to see how much characters I had then, you can see how much updates this game has gone through before launch as I added a lot more. And so what we would do is we would take our pencil, we would write gray matter and forearms, which for the first time, because it's such a big release, I actually will do that. Um, I'll write gray matter here. And forearms, of course, you guys know my handwriting very sloppy if I'm just writing regularly. I try my best to not do it sloppy if I'm working on IPGS, but if you guys do it here, there's the extent of the handwriting you're gonna get <laughs> that you're gonna get from me. But um, we unlock gray matter and forearms, so so awesome for the brawl mode that I can't wait to show you guys. And um, in the next episode, we'll do chapter two. I really did hope you guys liked chapter one. It was a really, really cool time making this game. And I can't wait to show you guys the rest of the chapter. Chapter one is just the beginning. Obviously, it's just the beginning. But uh, it gets really cool, really hard, really awesome. So I can't wait to show you guys that. And I'll see you guys later for um, episode two. Continue on on chapter two of Ben 10 Old Generation. I'll catch you guys later with more videos and information about this game. And later games, thanks for watching and bye.